Previously on Ebony Love. It's gonna take a lot more than that for me to walk away. And like I told you, I'm planning to leave me inside. You received some mail the other day. Who sent this, Auntie? Every young woman chooses a man based on one of three things. Who her father is, who her father wasn't, and who she wanted him to be. I think you should get that. Hey. So are you going to give me a hug or are you just going to stand there? So how long are you here for? A while. Um, I moved back up the street. After the funeral, I just didn't feel right leaving. I'm sorry for your loss. I couldn't make it. That's, that's cool. Still playing with dogs? You still playing with hearts? Why are you here? I just told you. No. Why are you here? Well, I came by to let you know I was back in town. That's not a crime, is it? No, it's not. Well, look, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I know you're real busy these days. But you know where I am, so let me know if you want to hang out. Like old times. My number's still the same. I see you around. As he left, not looking back, all she could feel is her great past feelings creating an ordeal. Something about it she knew that this wouldn't be the last time she saw Dexter, who'd been stationed in Peru. This was new territory indeed, even for Ebony. But the question remains, how would she proceed? Why do you feel so guilty? I'm engaged. I mean, I'm in a relationship. And? Jazz is so good with this kind of stuff. Jazz, tell me about her. You already know her. Not in the same way you do. She's my best friend. I've known her since high school, but we didn't really hang out until we met up in college. Then we lost touch after she graduated the year before me, but then we reconnected like two years later. Why do you think she's good with this kind of stuff? She's a free spirit, bold, beautiful. She really doesn't care what others think. I see. Do you wish you were the same? Be like Jazz? Sometimes, but I know God made me who I am. I try not to be envious of others. Finding attraction in another one's strength is not envious if it inspires you to be your better self. Never thought of it like that before. Can I ask a question? You just did. Are you married? I am. Do you ever find other men attractive? I have. You don't find that a problem? I'm married, sweetie, not blind. I don't allow to go past anything but just a glance.
Life is about choices. And I'm sure you know that already. Those choices will help to define your character. And your character will help to shape your destiny. What are you trying to say? Your next steps will take you to your destination. So however you get there, it's up to you. Hey. How's everything going? Good. Thanks. What? I was just thinking, do you remember the day in the cafeteria when you fell in front of everyone? Of course I remember that embarrassing moment. I never forgot it. You remember that? I do. It seemed like everybody was laughing, but I wasn't. Hmm. Right. I find that hard to believe. I mean, it's not every day that one of the popular girls in school falls like that. And you're telling me this now because... No particular reason. I mean, we haven't seen each other since you graduated high school. And I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. So you being here, it's not a coincidence. So what do you think it is then? Well, for one, you're a great event planner. Two, a good negotiator. And three, you're still as beautiful as I remember. What is this? Let's stop playing games. I'm not the one that makes business with pleasure. So, I can't wait to get this event over with so I can ask you for your number. Or, I can do it right now. Why would you want my number? Why not? Charles. It's Charlie. Right. Look, we haven't seen each other since high school. The only reason why I'm here is because my client wanted a bowling alley, and yours is what she wanted. I don't believe in unicorns and leprechauns, and I don't fall for schemers and guys like you. Guys like me? I mean, don't get me wrong. You obviously work out. You're an intelligent guy. You're fine. To some, you're a hero saving this building. You seem like a nice guy, but for all of you, you'd be a serial killer or something. <laughs> serial killer. Wow. First time I've heard that one. Don't take it the wrong way. I just, I just personally don't make people I do business with. I wasn't asking you for a date. I just want to get a cup of coffee. Hmm. Well, see, I'm allergic to caffeine, so... Right. You know what? Let me know if you need anything. Okay. The doctors call it urticaria, hives for short. When I consume too much, I break out really bad. Why are you telling me this? Because I'm an open book. I don't play mind games. I don't do crossword puzzles. Honesty is very important to me. So, I'm going to ask you this once. Why now? It's simple. I'm attracted to you. See, when you came in last week, I was focusing on your event. But truth be told, I was focused on you. So it is what it is. I'm not a schemer. We all been hurt. But I won't allow that to stop me from trying. You married? No. Divorced? Yes. Kids. None that I know of. Dating. Not right now. So, out of all the women in this room... All the women in this room, aren't you? You know what? Forget I haven't said anything. Let me get back to work. I see you, girl. I didn't think you were going to make it. The session lasted longer than I expected. 
What was all that about? He wants my number. So what's the problem? Um, I don't just give my number out to everyone, honey. But it's Charlie. I know. But I don't like... I like to keep my fantasy world separate from my reality, if you know what I mean. Besides, he's damaged goods. What do you mean? He's a divorcee. So? What's gotten into you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had an interesting day. I got a visit from a childhood crush. Who? You don't know him, but he left a boy and came back a man. <laughs> Let me guess, he's in your head, right? You ain't got to lie, Craig. <laughs> So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, I don't know. After the event, I might have a chat with him. See what he's talking about. And if I like what I have, I'll the digits. But I thought... Ebony. I'm smart, not desperate. It's open. How did it go? It was enlightening. Details? Yes, I gave it to <laughs> Oh, is that it? Well, yeah, it's the beginning concepts. Oh, wow. That's really good. Thanks. What's up? This is probably the only time I get nervous about things. What do you mean? Just getting to know someone. But you meet people all the time. It's nothing for you. I mean, business meetings I can do with my eyes closed. It's just the personal ones that I cringe. What are you worried about? I don't know. I guess just opening up to someone new. I've, I've just never been good with that. He's not an ex or someone who could hurt you. I know. You got this. So, you like an Elaine? Yeah, she's cool. I didn't know how things would go, but I trusted your lead. Yeah, well, she's the one who got me where I am today, so I knew she could help you. How did you meet her? I know it's personal, so if you don't want to... Let's, let's just say that I had my own demons to deal with, okay? A family member suggested me to her, and at first I was reluctant to go, but despite my stubbornness, I went. So. Was it what happened to you in college? I, I didn't mean... Ebony, I, I, Ebony, I, Ebony, it's fine. I just wanted to say thank you for coming out tonight. It meant a lot to me. Anytime. I'm gonna go to bed, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. A wandering mind on a past long ago, deeply rooted only the two who know. This here is one of Ebony's greatest fears, to bring her best friend to running tears. And in a complex world where things fall apart, in this is Ebony's broken heart. Mm -hmm.